Hi, this is Thomas Gray from Desert Star Systems. I just want to preface this video by recommending that you watch our other magnetic related videos, particularly the one titled Magnetic and Light Based Geolocation, because that's going to give you an overall picture of how our tags work as far as determining location. <clears throat> so this video, I just want to kind of give you a, a good idea or a better idea of reasons that you should use a tag that has a magnetometer versus one that is just based on light. You know, as, as you know, light-based geolocation gives pretty poor estimates, anywhere between 69 and 690 nautical miles. By using magnetics, you improve that to about 35 nautical miles, and in some cases, even less than that. So that's, I mean, that's primarily a reason to use magnetics, but additional uses are on animals that don't enter the light zone, like sablefish, uh, halibut, other ground fish, um, lobsters, crabs, really anything that stays in deep, dark waters, or freshwater fish that live in turbid waters, like catfish, for example, or, or different gar species. Like anything that is going to be in turbid waters, deep waters, where light doesn't penetrate, sea tags are the only tags that are going to get you data that you really need. They'll give you migration data. I mean, you'll just get latitude, but that's better than nothing. And on top of that, they certainly cost less, the sensors are better, and various other reasons that you should use a sea tag. But I just really want to talk about magnetics here. And to give you an example of where mag magnetics have worked, where light hasn't, we have uh, one of our very first customers, Steve Campana, up in Nova Scotia. He's with uh, Bedford Institute of Oceanography. They deployed a few sea tag mods way back in the early days on a few blue sharks. The blue sharks hung around Nova Scotia for a while, staying mainly on the shelf, until they one day just started going north towards Greenland, and all of a sudden, off the shelf they went. Now, if you had light-based geolocation, like with our other competitors, you wouldn't get anything other than the pop-up location. So then you'd have to kind of estimate as far as, you know, how, you know, which direction the shark moved between the, the shelf and the pop-up location, which is very hard to do without any data. Whereas with our tags, the customer got all magnetic data, so they will determine the latitude movement from the moment they lost light as the shark left the shelf to the moment the tag popped up. And using a bit of post-processing, we are also able to construct the longitude movement. Not as accurately, but still using the latitude and the magnetics and the field intensity lines, we are able to construct movement where light-based geolocation absolutely wouldn't work. And we see that not only in Campana's work, but in other customers like Brian Morris, who put some tags on some lobster, and those lobster will never see the light. So it's good that he used our tags because he can get magnetic movement, latitude movement, through his deployment. He just recovered a tag that was out for, I think, about 10 months. So it would be pretty impressive to see the, the movement of those lobster. And that's the same for customers that are tagging king crab up in Alaska and sablefish in Alaska. They wouldn't get anything but a pop-up location and a deployment location if they used light-based geolocation. So magnetics is a really powerful tool for animal migration. And we're happy to answer any questions that you have. And check out all the other videos that we're going to show about magnetics, such as reviewing the Earth Magnetic Field Map to give you a better understanding of what you might expect in locations throughout the world. And just general stuff like that original video about my, our magnetic and light-based geolocation. You should certainly watch that to get a, a good overview of the technology. But as always, any questions, just post them in the comments or email me directly, and I'll be happy to answer them. And, and suggest uh, you know videos like this one here, you know, asking various questions about our tags, and we're we're happy to help you. So hope you have a great day and enjoy this video. Thanks.